Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can connect the ODBC data sources here in this click view. So ODBC data source is basically a standard API application programming interface which helps you connect to database management systems. So your databases like uh, MySQL or maybe Access, which is quite famous for you know, small databases and all for your custom needs, which you may want to connect to ClickView to get your tables, views, and other objects for your reporting and analysis. So here in this case, uh, I am into edit script section of ClickView, and uh, we need to choose uh, what we want to connect here from the database dropdown. So we have the options ODBC, OLDB, uh, QB Salesforce connector, and one other component which is custom name. And here in this case, uh, our interest is in ODBC. So we will select that. And because I'm using 64-bit ClickView system, I'm getting this option for 32-bit. So even if, so if you have a 64-bit ClickView uh, installed in your laptop, then make sure you are enabling this or you are checking this checkbox. After this, you need to hit connect and select here in this case, I am selecting MS Access Database. I have a, sim, some, uh, a simple database of salesmen. So I'll just click this, click OK. And then I need to go to my desired location where I uh, where my information is present. So I will just go to a proper path here and that will go to into documents and within the document you have click view and then the section where I have videos and here is my database. So you need to go into different uh, uh, on this desired location where your database is and select that database once you hit ok it will produce this statement odbc connect 32 to this particular location where the your database is and uh, the, the connect 32 is because the drivers that we have for odbc or ms access is basically 32 bit so that's why having this option enabled is going to basically help us otherwise uh, your system may throw an error uh, while you are trying to, you know, select the MS Access option from the first window which appeared and then going into the desired location. All right. Once you are connected, uh, after selecting ODPC and hitting this connect option, you need to go and select the tables. So I'll hit the select. And once I select uh, this window come, it has the options what I want to see. I want to see table, views, system tables. So let's say I don't want to see system tables. I just want to see tables and views and maybe I can say I don't want to see views then just the table will appear and here in this section uh, we have uh, database tables which are available in this database its respective fields and then here is a statement the statement is saying that we want to get all the columns the star indicates all the columns but if you are interested in just couple of columns let's say distributor ID and salesman id so i just hit the control button and did this multiple selection so accordingly your system your statement will be generated after this a couple of other option you wanted like a columnar select statement or one statement in one row or structured or preceding load preceding load is really helpful uh, whenever you need to do a further calculation uh, say for example you have couple of measures over there and you want to add two measures you cannot do that in the select statement here in the click view you need to have a preceding load that will have your load statement generated along with the SQL statement and once you have the load statement you can do all that calculation which you can do with normal uh, like with any other data field so that's the uh, benefit of having the preceding load so once you are done hit OK it will generate the statement for you save it and reload it so let me hit save reload all my 37 lines fetched 
I click OK and I have all this information about the database. So that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video about how you can connect and then you know you can go ahead and utilize these fields as you want. In the next video I'll talk about a new topic. Till then, uh, happy cooking.